Operation 5, Kagejitsu. Show me what you got. Kagejitsu. Seven, she wants to be praised for her success. Mm. Ooh, Kai and Omega. Mm. Yeah. So this is right after, you know, Gamma did her own I am atomic, you know, when she basically slipped and fucking just threw the sword at... What was his name? It was from the MCA, right? That was like the main opponents of Mitsugoshi and they sent like the first blade of this ninja clan, the strongest to ever exist, and Gamma tanked every hit. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. It was great, Gamma. It was trash. I mean, she did take out the first blade, right? Kazuha, the first leaf, was that his name? Okay, not the first blade. The first leaf. Like, these th And even the Cult of Diablos, the, the children of Diablos, the guys, the males, they all had cool titles too, but they all got fucking bodied, dude. Tell the truth, tell the truth. I wonder why Omega has two separate eye colors like this and a pattern on her face. And you know what the saddest thing is here? Omega and Kai might unironically have more lines and dialogue and character interactions in Eminence and Shadow compared to, let's say, Zeta or Ada, which are characters that are the main shadows, but they're just being fucking neglected for, I think, plot purposes. They're like endgame characters that we can't really know too much about now. <laughs> She gonna get fucking trip. She's gonna fucking trip right now. You know that if she's walking, she's tripping. Come on, trip. Boom. No? No trip? Yeah, tell her she's trash. Tell her she's trash. They're getting so many dialogues, dude. What the f Fuck. Why are they? They're actually getting so much more dialogue than the main shadows. Alright, here comes a trip. No trip? This is rare. Ho Holy fuck. She made it. The plate landed on the table without a trip and flexing her ass in the air. That's rare. Okay, Gamma. So Kai and Omega are basically babysitters for Gamma that Alpha ordered because Alpha worries that, oh, like, without if Gamma doesn't have a helmet, she's in trouble, right? She's a little special. Cap, cap. The glaze. Oh, 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 oh! Dangerous! <laughs> I love this. I love this when she fucking did this. And like, it was like an homage, maybe a reference to I'm Atomic, but goddamn, that got me hyped up. I'm not, I'm not like, I actually got super hyped when Gamma did this. Okay, here's a trip. It's not really a trip. How did this even happen? Like, how, how did you fuck this up? How could you possibly fuck this up? You're right by the desk. You can't trip. How did... I don't even know. But okay. And her ass is up. You say Sasuga Gamasama. You did amazing. I know you meant to do that. I'm sure you wanted to get all of that fucking cake. I also see cake right there from Gamma though. Yes. Amazing. Blaze her up. The nose bleeding is also funny because they constantly wipe her nose with the napkins, right? There's always someone on her side to fucking make sure her nosebleed is gone. <laughs> and all of all the running gags of the sh of the main shadows, I think Gamma's running gag is potentially the funniest, the most repeatable. It's I still laugh at it, and I'm not gonna lie, Epsilon's running gag of her boob size. It's getting a little stale, damn. I'm even fucking trashing Epsilon now. This is fucking terrible. I'm still an Epsilon fan, though. Who is it? Delta's voice? Maybe Black Jugga Jugga? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I hunt. I am the hunter. I think this is after John Smith told Delta, hey, there's a guy named Black Jugga Jugga, you know, in the lawless city. Go take him out for me, will ya? And Delta's like, all right, boss. Yeah. Jugga Jugga. 
I think Delta is actually the best shade. It's unbelievable how likable and OP this character Delta is. She carries so hard, not only in the anime. In season 2, I think it was straight up. If you think about who got the most attention, who got closest to Shadow in season 2, it's Delta. And in Kagejitsu, she fucking hard carries every episode if she's available. I love her. Jugga in Japanese means potato, so it's black jugga jugga. It's another wordplay to kind of shit on po. Our f oh, oh. What is a delta? Black jugga jugga? Remember, delta's not the smartest dog. You know, she's very cute, but if there's anything that you can compare intelligence to, it's definitely not delta. To the point that Shadow even fires stray bullets, constantly comparing his enemies, saying, You're dumber than Delta, which is not really a compliment, right? Who are you hunting? Black Jugga Jugga. Black Jugga Jugga. Uh oh, she forgot. Okay. Potato. Ah, a little bit of a spoiler, but you guys, I mean, pretty much okay. So, Potato Jugga Jugga. It's more wordplay. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Potato, yeah! <laughs> Imagine Delta kills Poe! <laughs> Bro, if it's just Delta just terrorizes Poe and maybe scales there too, that would be a hilarious side story. Oh, you tell me. Oh, is that the tower? The black tower, I think? Okay. Where's Black Jugga Jugga at, huh? He's about to get bodied. Now, how fast? I mean, there's like a couple of seconds left, and we never saw it in the anime. We only saw in the post credit scene of Delta howling at the sky while everything is on fire. How fast is she able to defeat Black Jugga Jugga right now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Busted. Hmm. Is she just gonna ignore him? Does she accidentally kill Black Jugga Jugga? No shot, right? We're just ignoring. So, like, she didn't even know it was Black Jugga Jugga. She is still trying to seek for Poe. So, the next time Delta finds Poe, maybe he's dead. But, actually, in the pool episode, she, she saw Poe. But, like, straight up, she got pissed off at Jugga Jugga, who's getting ignored. Literally off screen. Like, literally, not only in the anime was she was Black Jugga Jugga off screen, in Kage Jitsu as well. Damn. That's not the target. It's Black Jugga Jugga. <laughs> and after she kills Jugga Jugga, she realizes that, that was a target with Jugga Jugga's head. Look at her smile, though. How could you not like this character? It's fucking broken. It's unfair the likability Delta has compared to the other shades. It's actually fucking unfair. And I'm really close to calling her my favorite shade, though. Again, Epsilon still has a place in my heart. But the author, the animators, it's unfair the amount of treatment and dedication Delta gets. But I love it.